Is it just me? I'm always disappointed every time I play Anakin. I've already talked about how underpowered Anakin is to how he used to be. And we've all gotten used to how he is now, and he's still pretty good. But for those who have played him before, even if you've seen mere gameplay, the way he is now is just, it's just, every time I play with him, it's so disappointing. He used to be actually top tier. Like, there would be nobody that could go up against him. Like, Obi-Wan, Rey, they all are good. But compared to Anakin, they were just nothing. Now, some people are arguing that Rey is better, Obi-Wan's better, and honestly, like, m most in instances, they're pretty right. And that's just sad, because Anakin used to be amazing, and every time I do a Herrick might or a pull, I'm like, ugh, can't believe this is what it is now and how it used to be. So it's that just me that thinks of Anakin this way. Like, they just had such a great idea for Hero, and they did such a good idea. They screwed it up a tiny bit with Herrick might glitched. They didn't fix it properly, and then they just decided to nerf him and to just make him a generic hero that has a pull that most lightsaber users on the light side don't. And then the rest of the abilities are sort of unique. Heroic Might is basically, you could say, better repulse, or at times not even. And then Passion Strike, eh, none of these other heroes have it, but it's not the most unique thing, you know what I mean? Retribution obviously is pretty dope, but even then it's got nerfed to the ground. And to give you an idea, if you have Vader with both the choke cards, it's actually better than Retribution. So just to give you an idea of how much this guy got nerfed. For example, Retribution right now does, I'm pretty sure, exactly 222 damage. Back when it actually worked how it was supposed to be, it did around 450 roughly. Not exactly 450, but around that range. And the reason why Retribution was too OP wasn't because of the damage that it did to people. It's because how long it took to do that damage. Because you were elevating them for like 6 seconds. Your teammate had like the entire time in the world to kill them so that was actually OP so what they told us is they told us you know what we're gonna fix the timing but by doing that they cut it in half or something like that but they also cut the damage in half on accident and I know this is for a fact on accident but obviously they didn't care because they did it on accident and they're like oh shit this kinda works actually and basically that's what we got so it was supposed to be still 400 damage but with the timing that it has now and just that small added bonus like imagine Anakin how he is now but just with that extra retribution damage how he was actually supposed to be this isn't how he's supposed to be that's like a missed error from dice which is super known just that would make Anakin so much better but it still would not make Anakin how he used to be, which is sad. Anyways, that's just me ranting. And uh, yeah, this, w this video was just ranting. I had nothing else to talk about, but Anakin, every time I play with him, every time I see gameplay with him, I'm like, damn, this hero had so much potential. He was lit literally supposed to be like the counter to most of the dark side things on purpose, right? They purposely made him a little bit more powerful than everyone. And then they just nerfed him, so he's not. So like, guys, what's your point? And I mean, dice, not like EA, EA that has nothing to do with it, EA just allows you to make Anakin as a hero DICE makes him whatever they want so this is really on DICE and I'm not sure who in DICE but if I knew I would ping you right now and I would not give you free Kusa